So what we've got here is some bits just a bench test to set up for the FX71 but playing around with a brushless connection. So right here we have the um, FX71 um, uh, receiver board just sitting there. I've got a battery sitting uh, by this so I can power it up. Um, and then I've got connections running here to the uh, brushless motor controller. Uh, which in this case is a Hobby Wing Skywalker 20 amp we've been playing around with. Um, it's also got connections so it can be plugged or unplugged um, from the uh, re helicopter receiver. And, um, and I've also got another battery in here so that I can power that up um, directly, although at this stage it doesn't really matter. I can, I can power them together. Uh, and then I've just bodged up some connections in here going off to a, um, that's actually an FF200, um, 5000 kV uh, motor that I've been running on the double brushless 912 and just mounted this just so I can um, just play with it. Um, in terms of the connections here um, essentially the connection between between the uh, receiver and the motor controller board is I've got a negative, and so in this case I'm not sure how clear this will be um, but there's a it's got a servo plug there on one of the one of the sort of unused ports, and um, with the negative on that at the moment the positive just pulled pulled out of that. Um, and then the the throttle connection here um, I've just put a plug on it a servo type plug, and where I've connected that in is actually um, on the bottom of the board here. Um, there are three. Um, three connections which re re relate to the, uh, the the actual pins of the main motor FET MOSFET and this right hand one here is actually the what drives the FET, it's the FET gate and so that's my throttle signal on there so the, the signal on that is a PWM um, signal, it's a pulse width signal and it's, it's just a voltage signal effectively to drive the FET so at, at zero throttle there's zero volts on it and then at full throttle it basically goes up to full battery voltage um, so that's then going through I've, I've flashed the blush, brushless heli onto the board you can vaguely see um, a, a three pin plug here which is how we connect it to the USB tool stick uh, flash the software on the board change the fuse okay, so what I'm going to do here I'll turn the Transmitter on, and plug in the 71 receiver. So, just get them to bind, and there we go. I don't know if you can see the, the red light, but that's that's bound now. Um, so that'll be putting the connection through. So now I'll power up the um, motor controller board. And when I power it up, you'll hear the motor actually beep. That's the brushless heli. Now I need to give it a bit of throttle and then back off again, which arms it. And now we should, should have some business. A bit of vibration. Okay. Just looking at brushless heli set up here. Uh, I've got the motor controller here, uh, flashing connections to the tool stick, um, running back to the tool stick on here. Uh, maybe able to see green and red lights on it. Uh, battery here, just powering the uh, motor controller up. And on the computer screen here, we've got brushless heli. I won't go into a whole lot of details on this right now, but basically down the bottom here, it's sort of showing it connected um, to it. In fact, um, what we'll do is go read setup. So it'll read the setup, it says it's read successfully, and all of the settings on here are all the, um, the motor controller which has been flashed already. You know, one of the things we've changed on this has changed the input polarity so rather than taking a servo type drive um, as though it was being driven by a, a receiver 
and changed it because it's it's being driven off the um, the FET control off the FX board, um, and you can reverse directions, um, noise, the, the beeping strength, um, be beacon as well, um, which will after after it times out for a period of time, it will beep at you. So if you useful if you're finding a um, a lost so, helicopter. Now I'll just write that set up to the board. So all oh, all written okay. Yep. Done.